Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Wexford Zoo for a quick, easy, simple video because honestly, and I'm sorry for this, but all the things I've built in between this episode and the last, I was not able to record due to the fact that the device I was using just was not bringing out the best of quality, and I'm sorry for that, so I wasn't able to get any footage. Uh, but I think that's okay. I think every once in a while it'll be good just to skip out on the footage. And if anything, it actually sometimes adds stress to me while I'm building because I feel like i got to get this right. I don't want to make mistakes in front of everyone who's going to watch this. Um, but yeah, also, I, yeah, I don't know if you know this, if you've been following my channel, but I've been gone for a week. Uh, I've been on vacation um, and also been a bit slow about uploading videos simply because I've been dealing with some personal things. But um, yeah, I'm trying to get back into it a little bit. Um, that is also, it's still the holidays, or just at the end of holidays, so everyone's still kind of, I've noticed that there's just been a massive decline in Planet Zoo videos recently from pretty much everybody, and you know, it's all, it all makes sense, you know, holidays. Um, but anyway, since then, I have finished doing my cheetah exhibit, and it came out really good in my opinion, and I'm really excited to show you guys. And so that's basically what this video is, I'm just going to be showing you guys this cheetah exhibit, and also, one last thing I want to mention. I have gotten a lot of positive, nice comments back from everyone since the previous episode where I talked about how this zoo just maybe wasn't ending up being as much as I wanted it to and I should stop soon and I got a lot of positive feedback from people who want to keep watching the series and I really appreciate that. Um, and I will let you guys know right now, I'm for sure going to continue this. I'd like to at least get Africa done, you know, I, got, I started it, I gotta finish it, and of course North America. And then I might stop there, but we'll see. Um, something else, though, I <laughs> I hope you guys aren't mad at me for this, because, you know, I, like I said, planning on continuing the zoo, but I'm also planning on starting a brand new zoo, and actually, I, I already have started it. It's going pretty good. Um, I'm going to keep all the details about it a secret for now, because I'm still trying to work it out. I want to get the whole entire front entrance area with this massive massive parking lot um, done before I even make a single video about it and while I may be starting a whole new zoo I'm not abandoning the Wexford until I complete it um, this whole new zoo is supposed to be again another chance for me to try and improve you know at least just be better about it. this time I, I realize now that the Wexford zoo has ended up becoming more of an experimental zoo um, and that's fine Right, but now that we've now that the game's been out for over two months, I'm ready to try again and really, really just slow down. That's kind of the big thing. I go, I think I go too fast when building, and I never end up taking the time to create really awesome things that I've seen other people do. So yeah, I'm gonna try and do that with my next zoo. But uh, anyway, I think I've been talking for long enough. Let's just go ahead and finally take a look at the cheetah exhibit. So. Here's the, uh, just in case you didn't see from the last episode, here's a quick look at the Thompson's Gazelle and Ostrich Exhibit. They really like it. I had a little bit of a, uh, mister back there. Now, a lot of the things over here in this part of the African area is just not done yet. Um, over here I'm going to cover the whole ground on this side with, like, brown tiles, and it's going to be a t water, uh, big tower. It's going to, this is all model off of the Akron Zoo's Pride of Africa, so if you're curious, curious to see what I plan to keep doing, then just go take a look at some videos and pictures of that, and uh, you can kind of understand what, I'm, what, what I want to do. Uh, I like this, this is all custom right here, but I like this, um, it's supposed to be a just supposed to be like a little pavilion, African pavilion. There's going to be fencing and soil to keep everyone back, but it's just supposed to give you another really good look at the ostrich and Thompson's gazelles. Uh, I like this custom bamboo fencing. It's perfect for the background. This is all going to be soil, like just straightforward soil, and I'm going to fill it. I'm going to pack it full of foliage. It gets you know like denser back here, get um, you know less dense to the front. It's just supposed to mimic almost like a bit of a forest around you, so you're going to enjoy the whole plaza over here. Um, in the Pride of actual Pride of Africa, there is a uh, there's a uh, truck kind of um, truck kind of attraction in the middle, like a safari truck, and uh, so I kind of made my own version of it, far bigger than it actually should be, but oh well, right? I think the details look pretty good. Um, all right, so now we move on to the actual really exciting thing, the cheetah exhibit. This came out, as I said in the beginning of the video, pretty well. Uh, we're actually really good. This this first building is um, modeled off of because 
at the actual Pride of Africa, they have a cool tent where you can come in and get a get a really cool look like this at the at their lions. But obviously, because there's not really a tent type building theme into the game, I just created this big hut. And uh, so you got the cheetah sign, a little bit of decor, but uh, I love this part right here. So obviously, people would be able to walk through here and get a good look at the cheetahs, and there they are. Right there, one of them. I got two of them. Um, I really wanted cheetah babies. I was not able to because I don't, they just weren't compatible, unfortunately. But I'm sticking with them. And uh, believe it or not, the cheetahs can actually come right up onto the hay or right through here. You can get a really good look at them. Now, there's no path. Thing, there's no pathing underneath this. I know it looks like there is, but I wasn't able to fit it in. Um, oops. Uh, but yeah, just using a bit of using a bit of imagination here. Imagining people would walk their way through here. And get a good look at the cheetahs. I really like this because it looks very realistic. That's kind of what I was hoping to go for. That, that's the, that's what I want to achieve is building realistic things. But I'm not there yet, as unlike other YouTubers. So hoping I get better. But anyway, though, I love this viewing area. It just came out exactly what I wanted, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty realistic. Let's move on over here. Oh, also forgot to mention there are a lot of blueprint items throughout all of this. For example, this right here, that's a blueprint item. I'm not gonna, I'll try my best to mention as many as I can, but I don't want to get anyone upset. I'm not trying to copy their product, but that's just kind of how it is. You know, that's the purpose of blueprints. But, uh, okay, well there's one. That's another, and no, that's it. Um, Anyway, so this is the big viewing area for the cheetah. This is again model off. This is this is model off the exact lion viewing building. Came out really good actually. I struggled with it for a while. Uh, came out in many different shapes and sizes, but I finally got a good shape for me. Now this right here was an idea I've been wanting to do since the game was even before the game even launched. Uh, I, can, I when I saw the truck prop, I was like, oh my god, I gotta use that as like kind of like an animal up close thing there, there's multiple times i've seen multiple times in zoos where people will well there will be a vehicle in between the glass and you can get a really good look at the animals right there next to the glass that's exactly what it's supposed to be some examples being like in the columbus zoo they have a plane like an actual plane halfway into the lion exhibit and you can get a good look at them um and i believe the uh indianapolis zoo uh, they in their oh I, th I think it was Indianapolis but they have like this whole amazing uh, glacier run section and there's like a there's a truck again there's a truck where you can get right next to the bears um, and at Bush Gardens there's also a truck for hyenas and that's kind of what I wanted to make this look like now obviously the cheetahs can't get in there but it's about the thought that counts right um, still I, I think it was a really good idea. And I'm surprised I haven't seen a whole lot of people do it yet. Um, seems like it would be a given with a prop like this. But anyway, the over here, mo again, model off of the Akron Zoo's lion area. There is like a rock format to see the lions lay out on, or in this case, the cheetahs. Um, so that came out nice, you know. Uh, yeah, there's not much more to say about this. I just, it's, it's a humble little viewing area. Uh, that right there was supposed to... I just wanted to make it look a little bit more realistic. Like, I can't imagine the cheetahs would get over that easily, but uh, realistically, there should be something there. And obviously, because there's no, like, free netting in the game, can you imagine? Oh, that'd be awesome. We could then create our own avi aviaries, but that's right, there's no birds either. Um, anyway, though, this is supposed to be represent, like, netting to hold back the cheetahs, just extra safety, and uh, not much more. So. Okay, so to get to the rest, we're gonna head over here around to the staff area. There's no staff pass right now. I kind of got rid of them until I figure out what I want to do with this area. Heading to here. Uh, it's really ugly in here, but you know what? Oh well, it's behind the scenes. So uh, I created a bit of a bar, a bit of a, like a bar gate to keep the keepers back from the cheetahs. But when you're finally in here, they have this nice area. Ooh, that looks disgusting. Uh, was it flies? Yeah, there is. Oh, flies in Planet Zoo. <laughs> Can build a fly exhibit. God. All right, so let's keep going. Um, and then here's the cheetah exhibit. I I think I did a pretty gosh darn good job for at least my uh, level standards. Uh, I've seen it better for sure, but for me this is a pretty good exhibit. And I wanted to have like a big rock building kind of thing. It, it, from back from the viewing area, you cannot see the fact that this is a building. And that's what I really like about it. I set it up perfectly to make it look like just some big rock, you know. Uh, but really, there's you know, it's the whole building. 
Looks really good. I also love this little middle area. It looks perfect. Now, unfortunately, the cheetahs cannot get up here, but it would be amazing if they could. Uh, it's it's. I tried to make. I tried my best to make it open. Perhaps is a touch bit too much foliage, but I can't help myself. I love the foliage in this game. Still, not. It's it, you know it still gives the cats the ability to run their way around here like a racetrack, and that's kind of what I wanted to make it look like. And uh, yeah, overall, I'd say the inside of the exhibit came out pretty gosh darn perfect. I love the viewing. One thing I regret is putting the viewing areas too close to each other. It, it definitely feels a little odd to have them that close. They're, they're, I should have had one like far over here, and the other one way over here, just to give you that extra, you know, extra extra length. But surprisingly, you can't spot the other viewing area from the other one. But uh, okay, that's it, guys. I really don't know, I don't know what else to say. The cheat exhibit. I think came out really good. I'd love to hear you guys' opinion. Fortunately, though, for some reason, YouTube has now just started making my comments, particular ones, um, turned off. You know, I've, I've been seeing it happen a lot more, but they're going around and turning off everyone's comments. It, it's just a bunch of bull crap. That's all it is. Just a bunch of BS. I can't take it, but whatever. I guess I'm gonna have to. Anyway, though, I am nearing a thousand subscribers. I am really excited. I have plenty of videos in the mines, in the mine right now. Um, Still going to make my least favorite animals video, and also, of course, going to do a ne the next part for my nocturnal house that I'm really excited to do. I think a lot, my overall end product that I have in mind should be really good, but uh, definitely going to need some practice. I'm going to slow down with that exhibit speed build, and also, uh, I'm finally going to start doing some live zoo tours again. Not that anyone's really asking for them, but it's there's a lot for me locally, zoo-wise, that I really want to show on videos. And inspiration comes from the actual Zoo Tours channel, which is an awesome zoological channel. If you're into checking out actual zoos but really can't, his channel is amazing. Some of his inspiration has rubbed off on me, and I'd like to at least try just to make a couple videos about my local zoos. And I'll be doing that soon with the new area at my, the, at my own Brevard Zoo. I have a new rainforest section, and it's incredible. So, yeah, we're going to make a whole video off of that. And, I guess, more videos to come? I, I don't have... Hmm. I had multiple... I, I've been thinking a lot of ideas, but uh, I'd love to hear some of your own. If you have any suggestions on any kind of video I can make for my channel. Like I said, nearing 1,000 subs. It, I, can, I can practically taste the quadruple number. God, I cannot wait. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I've really had a lot of fun with the Wexford Zoo. Can't wait to see where it goes, but I'm also super excited to start a new zoo. I hope you guys will look forward to checking it out. I'll go ahead and tell you guys the name of the zoo. The next zoo I'm going to try is going to be called the Appalachie Zoo, named after the Appalachie tribe here in the Fl in Florida. Um, just makes sense. Uh, really excited to show you guys. But anyway, though, for the last time, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't, and uh, stay tuned for more.